hi, welcome to Nursing School Explained and this video on oral opioid analgesics. So first of all, we have to distinguish between brand and generic names. And the most commonly seen um, opioid analgesics you'll see go by the brand name of Vicodin or Norco and Percocet or Percodan. And so we have to know that Norco and Vicodin consist of two different medications. So the generic name for the opioid analgesics is hydrocodone, and it, but it also contains acetaminophen, which is Tylenol. So these will always contain these two. And so for example, it'll be Norco 5 slash 500, meaning five milligrams hydrocodone, 500 milligrams acetaminophen, or five slash 325, five milligrams hydrocodone, or 325 of acetaminophen. For the Percocet or Percodan, the opioid part is a different codone, which is oxycodone in this case, um, and acetaminophen. And in this case, you might see like 5 slash 325, 5 oxycodone, 325 acetaminophen, or 10, 325, 10 oxycodone, 325 acetaminophen. And although these two are different opioid analgesics, they will still have the same side effect profile, the same mechanism of action, the same side effects. But we need to be aware that these brand names also contain acetaminophen, which is very important because acetaminophen, typically we can only give the patient a maximum of 4,000 milligrams per day. And where that really comes into play here is if the patient on their as needed, their PRN medication list, they have, a, let's say their MAR, their medication administration record for the PRN medications looks like this. Norco 5 slash 500, one tablet Q4 to 6 hours, PRN pain 8 to 10 out of 10. And then they also have acetaminophen 1000 milligrams Q4 to 6 hours, PRN pain 5 to 7 out of 10 or temperature greater than 101.5 um, with a max of 4,000 milligrams per day. So let's, now let's say this patient is somebody who just had some sort of a surgery and they are in pain and they're also suddenly starting to develop a fever. So at seven o'clock we give them a Norco and I'm only gonna write the acetaminophen contents here. So Norco has 500 milligrams of acetaminophen. At 11 o'clock, they still have pain or they have pain again, and we give them another Norco. So four hours, we are within the specified amount of time here. At 12 o'clock, now they're running a fever. Now we give them 1,000 milligrams of acetaminophen for that fever. So that will be 1,000 milligrams of acetaminophen. And then I just space them out. So basically every four hours, we'll give them one or the other. So in total, the patient will get the 1,000 milligrams and the 500 milligrams of Norco, but in total we have one, two, three, 4,000 milligrams of just the acetaminophen, and then one, two, three, four, five times the acetaminophen that we gave the patient with the Norco. So five times 500, that's 2,500, which is a total of 6,500 milligrams of acetaminophen, which is way too much because the dosage, the maximum per day that we can give the patient is 4,000. So this is a pretty extreme example. You know, the, times, the time frame here might be um, spaced out a little bit more. I just really want you to be aware of these pain medications also containing the acetaminophen and in case the patient has the additional acetaminophen ordered for other purposes, which mostly is like a lower threshold pain or fever, that you are at risk of overdosing the patient with acetaminophen, which can be hepatotoxic. So make sure that you know what strength the Norco or the Percocet has in terms of the acetaminophen content so that you know how to give the medication and calculate that maximum dosage so that, not, that you're not by accident giving the patient too much Tylenol and now we have some problems to deal with. 
I hope this um, video helped you understand the oral opioid analgesics a little bit better. Also check out my other videos in the pharmacology playlist where I go a little bit more into the uh, profile of the medications in terms of side effects, mechanism of action and so forth. Thanks for watching.